Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam, and today we are checking out the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Let's see if this is an excellent device to spend your money on and to make your TV a smart Alexa enabled TV. So Amazon launched their Fire TV Stick back in 2016 and since then they haven't upgraded it. But last year they did. They did upgrade the Fire TV Stick with 4K capabilities, 60p and HDR capabilities and not forgetting the new remote with this damn volume key and the power key which is awesome. So I know most of you guys know what the Fire TV Stick is and what it does but for some of you who don't know what this is for and what this does then let me clear it out for you. So you might have a TV that is regular TV with a cable port and few HDMI ports but your TV might not be a smart TV or even if it is a smart TV then maybe it won't have the Alexa capabilities. So basically what a Fire Stick does is that it makes your TV a smart TV. By plugging this in you will get an interface that is Amazon's own interface with lots of functionalities unlocked. It will allow you to access various apps like Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus and many more. You can even sort of jailbreak it, it's just a term. But you can install APK on this device from internet and watch movies for free. So if you do want to see how to do that, please leave a like on this video and comment down below. But it unlocks a lot of functionality of your TV. Now obviously you need a 4K HDR TV to watch the 4K HDR content totally makes sense but if you don't have a 4K TV it will still work with the resolution your TV can support. But if you intend to use this on a non 4K TV then you can also pick this up in non 4K version and save a few bucks. Like for the 4K version you have to Anyways, I bought it for around 6,000 rupees and if you want to buy the HD version then it's 4,000 rupees. So it's decently priced device and after purchasing the device the unboxing is pretty straightforward. So here is the retail box of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K but let's remove this plastic sheet first. Now it's good. So first thing we can see it says Fire TV Stick 4K and below this we can see the new remote which now has the volume up and down key and the power key and down here we can see it says 4K HDR and other than that on the side we have some features of this device like the Alexa 4K Ultra HD, High Dynamic Range, Dolby Vision, Atmos, Quad Core, Wi-Fi 802.11ac and below this it says what's included in the box but as we are going to do it in a second we are going to unbox this box anyways so let's skip this but below this it says what's needed so we need a high speed internet with wi-fi and an hdtv or 4k hdtv with hdmi input so obviously we need a tv yeah but going to the back we can see some of the other features that i'm feeling lazy to read but for now let's just quickly unbox this so let's take out the remote first so here we get the remote of the Fire Stick TV 4K. So that's that. Now let's take out the Fire Stick. So here we get the Fire Stick itself. So that's that. But now let's put this aside and see what else do we have in the box. So here is the box itself as you can see. So let's open it up. So the unboxing experience is quite good here. So first of all we have this wall adapter. Next up we have AA batteries. So this is for the remote itself. So that's included. Next up we have a cable, a USB cable to charge this device. And it's good they have included this in the box. And by the way this is really high quality cable. Other than that we have this little HDMI extender to extend the Fire TV stick. Last but not the least, we don't need this now. But last but not the least we have the user manual and instructions on how to use this. But we are pro users so we don't need this as well. So that was the unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K but now let's set it up and see how it performs and if you should get this or not. 
So the setup is quite easy, just plug in the Fire Stick into your TV. If you have the space then it's okay, otherwise you can use this extension cable. Now use the included micro USB cable and the wall adapter and connect them together. Now turn on the TV and go through this setup. I have to say that the installation is quite intuitive and only takes 2-3 to three minutes max. After that you can use the Fire TV Stick on your TV. So that is how you can set up the Fire TV Stick 4K. And now let's talk about the specifications and some of the features, but before talking about that let's talk about our today's sponsor which is audible audible is the biggest audiobook store on planet earth you can listen to millions of audiobooks from their library and talking about the library it's vast every month you will get three credits which you can exchange for one audiobook of your choice and two audible original titles and even if you exhausted your credit you can still buy audiobooks at a discounted price if you are a subscriber and even if you don't like the book you can also exchange that free of cost and great thing about audible is that all the audiobooks you have is yours to keep you can access those audiobooks even if you cancel your subscription so sign up for a 30 day free trial from the links down below in the description and you will get three titles Titles to begin with and by signing up from the links down below in the description you can support this channel and the work that I'm doing and even if you don't happen to like the service you can cancel it anytime so thanks but now coming back to the video talking about some of the specification of this device then it comes with a quad core 1.7 gigahertz processor and the known 4k version has 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor they have IMG power VR graphics other than that we get Dolby Vision Atomos Sound, HDR, HDR10, HDR10+, Plus, HLG, Dual Band AC, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 and 8 GB of internal storage space. So those were some pretty good specs. The only thing that is missing from this is that they should provide some sort of expansion for the internal storage like an SD card or something like that. But other than that, it's quite good. The Fire TV Stick 4K work as expected and the new remote is excellent. It takes two AAA batteries which feels good in the hand and feels very premium. You can use the mic to command Alexa and your other Alexa smart enabled devices from the remote. What else can I say about this remote? It's just a remote. Anyways, it works as expected and I totally recommend this product. If you are looking to make your TV a smart Alexa enabled device, then you should definitely pick this up. And I would say you should go with the 4K version because today or tomorrow you are going to upgrade your TV. And in today's market, 4K HDR is somewhat standard. So if you get the 4K Fire TV stick today, you won't have to regret it tomorrow if you buy the 4K TV in future. But if you want to check out this Fire TV Stick 4K, links are in the description, you can check it out from there. But that's been it guys, that was today's video, my review of the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Please let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And you can also check out Audible which is totally free. And what else is free is liking this video and subscribing to the channel. You won't regret this either. But this was today's video, until then, stay safe, bye bye.